Get out of the car. I think we've been driving for about 10 minutes. I'm not sure where we are when they, uh, when they tell me to get out. Now, where the hell are we? I concentrate again to get the clues from my surroundings. The smell of trees. Are there some nearby? Remember, the, the, when they put the blindfold on her, she heard the sounds of a car, right? I mean, this might be once again very far-fetched because remember when I sort of found Higure to be quite suspicious? And this is not a, a very... I feel like it, it's such a strange reason to find her even more suspicious, especially because everyone can have a car, right? Well, I guess this is a poor part of town, so it has to be a rich person, but still. Because of the fact that she heard a car, I still feel like Higure had a car when she showed up at the church. There's a car here present. For some reason, I feel like once again that is connected, and I don't even know why I think Higure is that suspicious, but I just feel like she's a character that suddenly popped out of nowhere, and I... Perhaps it's just my mind trying to create links when they actually aren't there, or maybe they are there, but they're just not meant to be that way that she is actually suspicious as a bad person. But for some reason, my mind creates these links, and yeah, I'm just sort of grasping at straws trying to find out who the hell these masked people are, and who they are actually working for, and what their plans are, and whatnot. Because, oh my god, still so much mystery, and I can't handle it. That alone won't do anything. But there aren't many places this could be. It must be the forest. A good place to hide people. And not too far from the city. I can't hear a voice from anyone's mind. So no one's around. It means this is a place people won't come out to. Thud. Ouch! Can't you treat me more gently? I'm a Lin is a girl after all. They ha uh, had me walking around with a blindfold on. And now they locked me somewhere indoors. I'm alone here, I guess. If there are other children besides Myrna in this place, I assume that they are also under Hisui's hypnosis. So I'll have to keep tabs on the atmosphere. Clatter. And now it seems I'm completely locked inside. Given the sound the door made when it closed, it must be made of metal. Without my tonfas, it's very difficult to make an escape. Now, what should I do? I take my time to think over my options, but nothing comes up. But I can't just sit here and wait. Now I know who's been kidnapping children. The masked person is Hisui, known as the Pied Piper. And she leads an organization called Hamlin. Or Hamlin? Hamlin. The Pied Piper and Hamlin are based on a fairy tale. Yeah, okay, if it's fairy tale. But that doesn't matter to me. Damn, that headache again. I thought it wouldn't bother me anymore. Sis, even though I know he's not here, I can hear his voice again. Help me, sis. It happened more than a decade ago, but it still torments me. Hamlin used to abduct children in my homeland. They brainwashed children too young to establish their ego and turn them into soldiers serving under Hamlin. I wonder if my younger brother is still alive there. Could he already have been killed? Or has he perhaps killed someone under their orders? Becoming a soldier was the better of the two options. Girls and weak boys were stripped off their clothes and forced to beg. Even if it was a rainy day or a night with a dusty wind, those children had to crawl on the ground and beg from people. Most of them had no way to know what the weather was. Some children had to beg from strangers with their eyes blinded and legs broken. But Hamlin took everything they were given. Why did the children have to do that? Hamlin would kill them if they didn't. Especially the girls. They were abused by the men, oh my god, then killed and harvested for organs. I've seen many children end up that way, but I wasn't one of them. They chose me to be a soldier because I had better reflexes than the others. Well, 
not only my reflexes, but also the power that only I had. No, I don't want to go. Mom, Dad. My brother shouted when Hamlin took him. He cried hard for help, but nobody came out of the house to get him. So I think they... The only thought in my mind as Hammond took me away was protecting my younger brother. Fortunately for me, both my brother and I were enlisted as soldiers so I could find out if he's okay. But because of my power, Hamlin separated us. They treated me favorably for that. When the war got severe, Hamlin moved to Japan. Of course, they forced me to come with them. When the war ended, Hamlin lost their purpose and eventually broke up. I took advantage of it and managed to escape from them, but I didn't think they were still operating. I don't know why they've suddenly ramped up their operations, and I don't want to know. But Hamlin got in my way again. I will do whatever it takes to destroy them. Well, I don't think that they will just keep me here. They seem to be still interested in, uh, in my power, so they'll be contacting me soon. And that's my chance to break out of here. I want to prepare myself before they come see me. It'll be hard to escape from here alone, even for me. Wish I had someone to help me out. When I think of that, the image of one person comes to mind. Tadayoshi, the boy who calls himself my student and to whom I'm opening my mind. <laughs> Impossible. He wouldn't be able to help me. Why did I think of him in this situation? Am I going insane? I chose to split up with him because he'd slow me down. And I don't think he'd be much, of you, uh, much use even if he was here. But he's really smart. With his wits, he may come up with a way out of the situation. I wouldn't be able to think of myself. Well, there's no point for hoping someone who isn't here. If only I could inform him of my current situation. Find a bird and have it deliver a letter to Tadayoshi? That's too unrealistic. There's no way to contact him. There's nothing I can do. The green butterfly, I'm freaking right. Hell yeah. Is that a butterfly? Why is it here? Okay, we're not completely right. I thought that the green butterfly allowed her to read minds, but this is she's actually surprised at seeing the butterfly. At least instead of that is her reaction. But she is saying why is it here, not Oh well, I guess that could still you could still interpret it as that she's seeing it for the first time. A green butterfly suddenly appears and it flies in front of me elegantly badump 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 as i stare at the butterfly my heart begins to beat faster my senses sharpen further what am i feeling the green butterfly flies towards me and melts into my body then mirna where are you Huh? Out of nowhere, I hear Tadayoshi screaming. No, here isn't the right word. More like, it's inside my head. Is he nearby? Wait, but I can't hear him with my power. My power to read minds is limited to people who are close by. Also, even if he were nearby, I've never been able to read his mind. It's the first time I've ever read someone this way. What the hell is going on? I have no idea at all. The one who carries the green butterfly inside. It's time to wake up. Who's that? The voice of a woman, young, but commanding, plays inside of my head. Awaken your true power. Thought sharing. Thought sharing? Huh? What is that? Thought sharing lets you communicate with others. Mind reading is not the only power you have. Your true power 
is to read, speak to, and share minds. Read, speak to, and share minds? I know how to read minds, but am I able to speak to other minds and share my thoughts with others? Come on, I haven't even tried that before. But why do I know what to do or how to do that? I can see it clearly somehow. It's because of the butterfly, the way to convey my thoughts to others. I didn't know I had such a power, but it feels like I was born knowing how to do it. Release your power now and try to convey your thoughts to the one you just thought of. Now I no longer hear the woman's voice. Was that a dream or an illusion? Well, it doesn't matter. The one I just thought of. So I'll try to convey my thoughts to Tadayoshi. Please. I hope Tadayoshi hears what I'm thinking. <sighs> Damn. I still can't find her. The dark of the night gets dense. It's too dark to see around me. I've been searching for Mirna for hours. But I still can't find her, and I can't see Lin either. Tadayoshi. I hear a voice calling to me out of nowhere. Who's calling me? But wait, this feels like... The voice echoes directly into my head, rather than calling out to me. And I know that voice. Is that Lin? Where are you? I lived with Lin, no matter how briefly. I know her voice anywhere. Boy, can you hear me clearly? Yeah, I can hear you. But how are you talking to me? No, that's not important right now. Where are you? Sorry, I screwed up and it caught me. What? Lin got caught? Seriously, what kind of joke is this? Did the masked person beat you? Yeah, it's pretty embarrassing. But you are looking for a girl called Myrna, aren't you? They took her with me. We're in different cells it seems. So the masked person is the kidnapper? And they took Myrna. Glad you're smart enough to figure it out. I swore Myrna and I are being held. I think we're in some abandoned ruins. Abandoned ruins? I have no idea what you're talking about, Lin. It's about 15 minutes from the center of the city by car. I think that car drove past you about an hour ago. A car, you say? I was too busy looking for Myrna to care about the car, but I'm sure I heard it at least. About an hour ago? Wasn't that when I returned to the stalls? Damn, I'm getting so sleepy. I think I'm running out of time to t telling you my thoughts. Lin's voice begins to break apart. It's harder to hear as her voice gets staticky. We need better reception. <laughs> but I close my eyes to focus on listening to her. I'm not going to miss a single word. I'm counting on you. Tara, Yoshi, Lin! After that word, I can no longer hear Lin. What was that? The voice of Lin echoed in my mind, telling me she's being held captive. In any other situation, I'd dismiss it as an auditory hallucination. Lin is calling me for help. I have no positive proof, but I'm sure it's definitely real. I have to return to the stalls for information. Oh boy, from the looks of it, you haven't found Myrna yet. Yeah, but I need to ask you something. Do you know of any abandoned ruins nearby? Huh? Why are you asking that? Answer me, I've got no time. Somewhere nowhere goes. Near here. The war made ruins everywhere. It's hard to narrow it down. 
It should be about 15 minutes away from here. With that, I can think of three locations. Three locations? If it takes 15 minutes by car, it'll be at least an hour on foot. Lin and Myrna are in grave danger. There's no time for me to visit and search all the places. Can you tell me where those lo are located? There's an unused building in the western district. When I was young, I used to play there all the time. It was my secret base, but the war destroyed it, and now no one goes there. There's a large storage building in the southern district. It served as a bunker during the war, but nobody uses it now. There's still traffic near it during the day. You're right, and the old building in the eastern district. I've got a wonderful view from there. I've seen some couples use it as a date spot. The ruined buildings in the west, storage in the south, or the old building in the east. Which building are they keeping Lin and Myrna in? If some kind of organization kidnapped them, they would need a place to kidnap them. A place safe from people's eyes. Are they in the western district? As there isn't much traffic nearby? I'm not sure if that is correct. What would I do if I were to kidnap her? I'd use the traffic as a camouflage. If I weren't doing it alone, I could use someone to guard the building. So all three places are still possible candidates. There's no time to think this over. Time is running out. I have to decide where to go. Oh my freaking god, time is of the essence. So three options, to go to the secret base in the western district, go to the storage building in the southern district, or go to the old building in the eastern district. I am still gonna go with my crazy wacky um, theory, yeah? Higure was the only one with a car, somehow the kidnappers have a car. Higure mentioned that she was from the eastern district. So I am really tempted to just go to the Eastern District and think that that is where Lin and Myrna are. That is my theory at this moment, but I'm gonna end this video here. So I might still change my mind before uh, the next uh, video, but that is my current theory and I'm probably gonna stick with that with the Higure uh, theory, unless everybody in the comments is like, Boo, you're wrong, you suck. If everybody's gonna say that and if I haven't played the next video before then, then I might possibly change my mind and then I'll just, you know, admit the fact that I'm delusional or whatnot and that I'm grasping at straws trying to point fingers at Higura even though she's probably not uh, connected to it in any way. But for some reason I just have this, this weird feeling about her in general and I hope I'm correct but we'll only find out in the next video. So once again, thank you very much for watching guys. Please like and subscribe for more and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.